a lot of people don't know how they want their shipping container, yard, storage unit, or whatever to look in the lawn care industry. And they're just kind of confused on how to keep everything super organized. And today I'm going to be showing you guys my shipping container and like showing you guys exactly what I did and why I did everything I did to keep it as organized as possible. And actually how much revenue we can push out of this singular shipping container. If you guys didn't know, this is a four, eight by eight by 20 shipping container. So total square footage, it has 160 square foot. And I'm gonna show you guys how it actually looks and why I put everything exactly where it is in my method to my madness. So when you open the door right here, we have the shipping container and we only have to really open one door. We don't have to open both doors. One of the mowers is gone. One of the, we have a crew mowing right now, but what we do is we have this ladder and this ratchet strap on the wall. We don't really use this anymore only because we used it for landscaping, but it's an easy place just to have something hung up. So it doesn't have to be on the floor or on a shelf. The ladder we actually hung with bungee cords so we can keep it against the wall. So we don't have to figure out a place for it. We need to use the wall as much as we can in a shipping container so we don't have to waste space. If we wanted to have a second ladder, we could hang it here or just have a longer ladder. Same thing with we could have another ladder on this side. But we have basically two mowers lined up here. The second mower goes here and there's, a, there's wiggle room. Like the second mower will probably end about like here. So you have like a little bit of wiggle room and then you also can walk in the middle even when both mowers are here. But you have both your mowers and right in front of it, now we have our actual storage shelf where we do have all of our actual tools. So at the top, we have our drills, drill bits. Right below it, we have actual sockets. Right below that, we have parts. Right below that, we have actual liquids. Like you, majority of these are cleaning products on this side and then this side is like more um liquids as in oils above here this is also more stuff for like more i guess detail work for the truck so literally in here we have some raptor lining this is like to line truck beds and it's just basically a bunch of adhesive and stuff just in case anything goes wrong in the trucks this is more aesthetic stuff it's not necessary in the back there though we do have some lube because this is also our lube shelf Right here, this is our repair shelf. And as you can see, really what's just here, sprinkler heads. It's just if you break sprinkler heads. We do have another piece of another strap. We don't technically need that, but we just have it there as backup, just in case we do. Up here, we have our trash bags and our shop towels. Right here, this is our smelly good bag. We have a bunch of car air fresheners in there. This is anything that we're working on. And we usually we keep keys here. Right now our shipping container thing broke. We got to weld this back on. So we have to use one of the other lock points, but that doesn't matter. We keep some yard signs here. These are not yard signs that we put out at different crosswalks or different um, stoplights. These are the ones we're gonna put in the yard while we're mowing or while we're doing a landscaping job. We usually don't have weed fabric here. This won't be here. We don't even install weed fabric anymore, but we are doing one last job. We have a push mower, which we literally do not use. This is also where we put our tailgates. We have two different tailgates here. There's about to be a third actually. And then this is the shelf that we bought. This shelf you can buy from Home Depot. And we put our sp sprayers here that has more spray and like liquids to go in the sprayer like chemicals. That is a handheld chainsaw. Right here, there should be gas cans. You'll see just, this is full of gas cans. We have a, I mean, we don't really use that, the meter stick, but if we do need it, we just have it. This is more of our, um, I call these more of our refillables. So this is like blades, um, edger blades, saw blades, like literally just blades. And then, uh, and then also, if we do have oil, oil goes here if we have it extra, if we just have oversupply. On the top, literally just blower, 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 blower. This is a mulch kit that will be going on this mower. So that's not supposed to be there, but it will be going on that mower. Over here, we have our trash can. We usually have it bun bundled up against the door, but then this is something custom that I did build, which is a rack system for all the handheld equipment. So we have two hedge clippers, weed whacker edger, 
and then we have another weed whacker edger that's gone. We have our broom and our drag. That's to pick up trash in the yard. But literally that's how our shipping container looks. The reason why I built this is because obviously, like I said, you don't want stuff on the wall. Where did I get all this stuff? Amazon for these. You obviously just would. You could get this from Home Depot, but you drill through the shipping container and put a lock, a bolt on the other side. I'll show you how it looks. Bam, it should look like this. And you just tighten it really hard and water does not get through it, no. We were gonna put another one here in the back and this was gonna be for our handheld tools, but now our handheld tools we just keep outside. But we just put tape over those holes and it still doesn't leak either. Over here, this is where we keep our extra mulch. We literally haven't touched that in so long because we only use yardage mulch now. We have handheld tools. These are just oversupply and wheelbarrows and pallets. That's pretty much all that's on the outside. But yeah, that's how exactly how our ship container looks. So if you literally want to just copy what we have, all the racks and stuff, you can find literally everything at Home Depot. And then you can just build it basically yourself. It's just four shelves. Two of these are cheaper shelves. I'm pretty, we got those at Walmart. These at Home Depot. This stuff's at Home Depot and Amazon. All of it's relatively cheap. I think the rack, these are the most expensive. These shelves, it's a hundred dollars a pop. But that, I mean, the, those things, I'm pretty sure it was like 20 bucks for all of them. And these shelves are like 20 bucks each. So it's all cheap. I mean, but it's, I don't want to spend money, I, but I do want my stuff organized, you know? So that's how our shipping container looks. So I'll see you guys later. Have I ever charged you guys money to give you guys value? No. And if you guys applied what I gave you guys for free, you guys could be making an extra... I don't know, 500, 2,000, 3,000 dollars a month, easily within like a three month span, easily. You could add that just from the free information I give. The Girl Growth Club is gonna be the first thing that's paid information. And it's paid information for a reason, because my direct involvement in it makes it to the point where I physically can't do that for free. And I'm gonna guarantee you guys making money. And let me just tell you, as soon as you join, within the first week, it's going to be free anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So it's not even a high cost. Uh, the initial 25 people get in at a discount. They're only getting in 50 bucks a month, but you're not going to be able to be in that group because you didn't join the waitlist soon enough. If you're in the waitlist, then you may be in that first group. I, I'm guaranteeing everyone who doesn't join and doesn't get in because there's only going to be a limited amount of people able to be in, period you will have FOMO. And for everyone who does get in in February, you guys are about to make a fuck ton of money and I'm about to put you guys on. Link in the tagged page in my bio.